long time no see hey y'all it's your girl so i'm michelle and i'm finna let y'all know like what's been up because i haven't been on here and really it was just because i didn't like the quality of the last video i filmed so i never uploaded it so yeah I didn't do an install video of this wig because I wore this wig before and I just put it on again. But I want to curl it because I feel like it would look so cute with bombshell curls or whatever. Oh, oh. Y'all, this is a synthetic wig, but it's getting scalp. My edges aren't late and I did that last. Dang, here, come on now. I'm gonna get into doing bombshell curls on this wig, y'all. It is actually pretty long. Hold on. Show y'all what it look like then. If y'all haven't seen, go check out my Instagram because I already posted pictures in this here before. But look, I don't even be doing my ear tabs. Cause honestly, if all you're gonna see is my middle part, I'm not gonna do my ear tabs. Unless it's a side part, that's the only time I'm gonna do my ear tabs for real. And y'all, so since this is a synthetic wig, I gotta like spray water on it in order for it to um, curl. All right, y'all, so I started the curling process and I was in here telling y'all basically my life update or whatever, but I ended up recording it in other clips. So that's that. And clearly y'all, I do not know what I'm doing. Like just talking up storm and don't even know what she's doing but anyway trust the process because it's gonna get better y'all i promise for for all it's giving i braided my hair and wet it <laughs> i braided my hair the day before and now it's curly or whatever like i'm not liking it at all so all right y'all i'm gonna come back once i figure out a process for me to curl this hair all right so last clip i showed y'all my hair or whatever i'm gonna start the other style i already started two or three one two three four i did four on the other side already bro why did i really have to count like that like i think i might finger comb out this side i already like took my part and everything but i think my finger comb when i'm done i'll probably like maybe like four or five more to do but yeah i want to give y'all a little life update because i've been gone and i tried to do this earlier in like the previous clips but i just kept messing up so where have i been girl so when i started my youtube channel it was 2020 yeah, I already know in 2020 it was the freaking pandemic and it just sucked life sucked but at that time literally everybody was starting like um they were starting to do new things or whatever and people were doing lashes hair like all that type of stuff bro like bro quarantine was like the start of everybody new hustle so i was like bro let me start my youtube channel i did it i had no camera it was just me editing on my phone and i was like you know what the perfect video is going to be uh me unboxing this laptop i needed the laptop to edit on i was getting the laptop for school but i was gonna do online school it was really my graduation present or whatever so i was like this is literally the perfect time for me to start my youtube channel or whatever so I did my little unboxing. Junior year, I had enlisted in the Air Force. So I already knew what I was gonna do after high school. So once the pandemic started, I was really just waiting for a ship out date because I knew what job I wanted, but I just wasn't gonna just sign any old job and take it and leave. Cause nah, uh -uh. wasn't gonna do that. And I know people that do do that. But yeah, it's not a hole in my shirt. It's like, it's the way the shirt is cut. But anyway, 
So I was waiting on the job or whatever. And I think I want to say like a month after that um that video came out or I put that video out. That's when I had got a date for me to ship out. So um after that I was really just trying to get everything together. Like me leaving, all that stuff. And it was freaking August. I'm like July, August, September. October, November, December. I had like four months for me to get everything squared away, stack up as much money as I could, and honestly just plan for like when I leave and make sure everything's gonna be set up. So I sold my car. Um I had my going away party. I had my 18th birthday party as well. After that, I just was working, working day and night. I I remember I had like two jobs at one time, but then I quit one of them because it was just no point in me working that job. If I would have worked that the other job full time, I was making more money. So I quit that job, quit the first job. After that, it was time for me to ship out. Once I shipped out, finished basic training. Training. I went to tech school. After tech school, I came home, and then that's when I was starting to look for a car because I couldn't drive the car I had previously to my um, my new base because it was a really old car and it wasn't going to make it. So, I got a new car or whatever and I moved and started my new life for real. For real, for real. This time. So, once I got here, it was really like a slap in the face because in basic training in tech school, we were around people that were going through the same thing as us they haven't seen their family they missed their family so when i got to my new base it was like um, these people they already live with their family they're all older than me i think at that time i was the youngest in my squadron so it just like it was not hidden for me at all you're not gonna get sick anyway so um, yeah, I got to my new base, and it was just nobody like me, like, no one around my age group, age category, or whatever. Life just sucked, honestly, and I got used to it. So then, that was what, in May? I got here in May, and then up until like december that is a long ass time that's six months or is that five months it's a five or six months but it was like it was really a slap in the face because how the hell like it was just tragic i was in a really dark space for that long of a time i was in a dark space for four or five months Actually, it was seven months, and the thing is, nobody noticed, and that's ridiculous. My mom coming out here. She provided a sense of home, comfort, all that good stuff. But after December, I made a pact to myself to like start up YouTube again because it was something I enjoyed, and I wasn't really able to do it because like life just happened, honestly. Like life just happened, and I wasn't able to do YouTube like I wanted to so but then you said that's why I'm here now like those last two videos y'all didn't really get to know me or know why I was gone or whatever but I've been gone but I'm coming back you feel me oh, yeah. I'm like curling this all different types of ways because I don't really care it's my hair and it's gone look good just how I want it or something I don't freaking know alright you don't like it this is what it's giving I me I'm gonna take the pins out of course but like they need to like set oh my gosh I need to set and I like when my curls I like push forward a little bit so like this
is that cute or no i don't know like really with my hair and when i be taking pictures and stuff or going out or anything i really just play with it until i get the look that i'm going for honestly i like it i mean i mean it is like wavy and curly looking a little goofy but i mean like who cares because at the end of the day i'm wearing a shoe i'm rocking it and if i'm rocking it don't even worry about what's going on with it looks so crazy with these clips in but it's gonna be cute and i'm i like it now usually it don't matter like if i do braid out or whatever as long as i got the little bang in the front i could really make the rest look good like i care less about the other hood. like could care less back to like what i was saying about the little life update so <clears throat> and i told y'all I'm apologizing if it's like some talking and then some voiceover because I'm sure that is like hecka annoying. But anyway, so I'm about to start school. Like I'm so excited because y'all like I just feel so behind. But every time like I talk to like a higher up, like a higher NCO or something, they always tell me like don't feel behind because like you are getting credits for the things that you're doing you may not physically i'm ashy don't look you may not physically like be in college but you are earning your degree slowly but i am about to start official school so i'll be earning my degree a little bit faster how does it look it looks good i'll be earning it a little bit faster and i'm excited Ew, eye crusty. Because, girl, oh, I just want to be successful. That's literally, like, what I pray about for, for like, I pray to be successful. Because I just don't want to end up, like, miserable. And I feel like not wasting. I don't want to end up, like, wasting my life, you know? I just want to be successful. I just want to be, I just want to be successful. Born this way concealer. I just wanna ooh, should I do the under eye too? I think I should. I'm gonna start school and hopefully like producing videos more. I also put concealer on my nose because my glasses be leaving indents on my nose and yeah. Like they clearly don't want me to be great. And then the top, I just be super freaking lazy. I don't even blend. I just make the line super crisp. And then somewhat blend. So I just smear it. But that's really it. I like having like the crisp eyebrows. Okay, y'all. I'm getting sidetracked. Like, this is how I am in person. I'm super sidetracked. So, back to like the life update. I bought a new car. I've briefly mentioned that before and it was my first big girl purchase like I was actually proud of myself I wanted a um a Malibu but because of the state I was moving to it just like would not have been smart for me to get a Malibu or was it an Impala I think it was an Impala I wanted an Impala I'm gonna put a, if I can I'm gonna find a picture of it the one I wanted because it was so pretty like it was all black it has sunroof um interior was black I think it had black rims it was just I love me an all black car like if I could have got my car in black I would be so freaking happy but I am very very pleased with the color of my car because when I see when I first seen it I fell in love with it because they had told me they were like oh yeah the like the car's red I was like red what the fuck like i don't want no red car and they were like well like just check it out like you know you might like it and i was like i was dead set on not having a red car i did not want that car like i did not want a red car but then when they pulled it from the second lot or whatever and drove it over to me i was like i literally like fell in love with it because the color of my car is it's red it's a cherry red but it's like um 
it's super bright in person but it's not too bright it's not like a fire hydrant red it's more so like it's kind of like around this color it's super super pretty to me and then i want to um i want to get tints on it and then i'm already starting to like black out the um the chrome the chrome pieces of my car it's slowly but surely happening I have a pimple on my forehead. We're covering that up, boy. Like. Cause you're not, you're not, you're not going to get me. Don't know how to do makeup. I really just be going with it. Oh, for people that do know, I have a red undertone. I'm gonna blend this out more, but I have a red undertone. So what could you put like, um, like a color correct? Cause I have bags and like sometimes when I be doing like this under eye stuff, it be looking like someone is beating on me. But y'all, I love my natural face though. I just do lashes and makeup and stuff because it makes me feel pretty. I love my natural beauty. It's just, I do it because I like to do it. And people be like, oh, you shouldn't dress up for like men and stuff. I definitely don't. I do it because it's fun. And I do it because I like to do it. It doesn't have anything to do with someone else. But the reason why I haven't bought, like, learned makeup for real is because I don't want to buy it. Like, bro, that little thing, that little bottle of concealer I showed you was thirty dollars. Sheesh. Do y'all listen to Nardo Week? He's having a concert here, and I'm going. Mm. And I think I'm going to buy my cousin's ticket because we're going to get it. Well, I told her I was going to buy it for her birthday. Even though it already passed, but like, she listened to Nardo. I listen to Nardo and he's coming to my city. Y'all, yeah, okay, so my hair. And overall, my hair was, mm, depends on how I feel after, my, um, after I put my lashes on. I don't want to say it was a fail, but like, it definitely was something because sis. For real, you know, only father that I ever knew. Get my pregnant, I'm gonna be a better you. Proper seed in the maid way back in the bill. Yeah. Okay, so y'all, this is supposed to be a freaking. This is supposed to be a uh, life update, and I updated you with my life in like five seconds. And other than that, like, you're literally just here for the ride. Like, yeah. <clears throat> Alright, we got them on. Charlie keep me out of trouble, so I thank her. <laughs> if you spray a little bit of water on it, it like defreezes a little bit. But yeah, yeah, that's the finish look. Um, yeah, it was kind of a fail, but mm, still cute. Anyway, um, we're gonna try this again, but with Lexi rods this time. So, thanks y'all if y'all made it this far. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and comment more things that you want to see from me. Period. Anyway, we are out of here.